adopting the new normal way of education is challenging. It has been a tough time for everyone. Looking back with what we had been through, coping with the deadline for activity submission, and the challenge of slow internet connection in doing research works which almost lost that little hope within us and made us think that having a brighter future is nothing but an elusive dream. However, walking hand in hand with the people who matters most, family, friends, teachers and classmates, and with the guidance from above, journeying together amidst the crisis that this pandemic brought to us, made us realize that there is always a silver lining in every dark cloud. And aside from the lessons which we have learned from this distant learning, are the most important lessons we gained in life. Resiliency, patience, understanding, kindness, and a stronger faith in God. Got to live with it and get ready for the next chapter. Welcome to the Senior High School 4th Commencement Exercises, the Virtual Graduation. Let us welcome the Senior High School Teachers. The Senior High School Advisors Let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we acknowledge you. the source of life and love. And so we thank you for these gifts that you have given us. We thank you especially for this day that amidst the crisis that we are facing, we are now gathered as one. Though physically distant with one another, to witness the virtual graduation ceremony of our beloved students. 
It has been a very difficult pattern for us teachers to continue educating the students without being physically present to them. And we know that it has also been a difficult fight for our students to continue learning merely by reading all the bunch of worksheets that we teachers have prepared for them. But still, because of your help and guidance and with the intercession of our Mother Mary, we are able to survive and adjust into this challenging situation. Mama Mary, thank you so much for not leaving us alone. You are our mother who walks with us through our journey. So we offer you all our thanksgiving and praises as we have this wonderful day. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. to Sister Marie Adela M. Pabon FAS, our school directors and principal, Sister Agnes J. Infante, our academic coordinator, to the hard-working members of the faculty, our ever-loving parents, friends, and to all who are part of the graduating class of 2021, a marvelous day to each and every one. It is my greatest pleasure to welcome you all to our simple and humble graduation. I am more than grateful to have this opportunity on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. Allow me to deliver my speech just like the old times. Let us all first free ourselves from the suffocating situation that our world is in now and enjoy this moment of triumph. High school graduation is a very important milestone in our life. It serves as a stepping stone in our journey towards life and opens the door to our future. Now that our hard work has paid off, it is quite emotional to think that our past two years here at La Milagrosa Academy as senior high school students is coming to an end. I am very glad to be part of this batch, this buck of dauntless, hardworking, ingenious and satisfactorily gifted students. We are the all-rounders who, without any question, are the creators of the future. So let us try to make the most of it. Let us dream bigger, strive harder, and achieve greater. Now that we have made it this far, let us not waste this opportunity to grow bigger. Life is not easy, and it never will be. To be honest, I am a person who always think of giving up. But because I am also a person of dreams, I chose to continue. This graduation today is a living testament of all our accomplishments. It shows to us that we are truly capable of a lot of things. 
I hope that all of us who are part of this magnificent event will bear in mind that our achievements today are the weapons that we will be using in the future to create a better life, a better world for everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Now that high school is over, it is time for us to get started. I am saying this to all of you, my fellow graduates. Even though life is full of difficulties, you must have a dream. Use that dream of yours to search for your purpose and take part in shaping the future of the world. The future of the world does not appear constantly because it is driven by those individuals, or should I say us, who has the passion to transform the world into a better place. I know that it has always been hard for all of us, but I am very proud for everyone seeing how we overcame the hardships. Recently, studying has been very hard for us due to the current situation, but we still chose to continue and faced all the hardships despite the uncertainties of every moment. This day marks a major transitional moment in our lives. As we celebrate the end of our high school years, we are also embracing the beginning of a new journey. Through those years of attending school, this is rather a very important as well as an exciting moment for all of us. As we step into a new world, we are bound to create new paths for ourselves. I hope that these words are enough to awaken your ambitions. Be ambitious and never settle for less. You are the owner of your own life. Dreaming is a free thing. All you have to do is to ignite magic to make your dreams come into reality. Keep these words in your mind and continue to become the person who you wish to be. This graduation is just the beginning of our journey. So buckle up and get ready for the future to come. May our ever loving God continue to bless us with the strength that we need to face the life ahead. I wish you all the best and hope that we all come to find ourselves as a person that we have always desired to be. As your friend and classmate as well, good luck and best wishes for all of us. And before I end my speech, I'd like to thank first all those people who never failed to support me. They were the persons who empowered me to become who I am now. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. Their all-out support made me want to achieve big things in life. I know that it is not yet that big, but I would love to dedicate all of my accomplishments to them. Thank you. Once again, I present to all of you this grand celebration of accomplishments, the fourth graduation exercises of the Senior High School Department of La Milagrosa Academy. Congratulations, everyone. Good day and thank you. I have the honor to present to you a total of 125 candidates for their graduation, of whom are 23 males and 31 females from the Humes Strand, 22 males and 7 females from CSS, 4 males and 2 females from GA, 8 males and 17 females from STEM, Two males and seven females from ABM of La Milagrosa Academy for the school year 2020-2021. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. Therefore, may I hereby request Ms. Marilyn S. Tahil. Education Program Supervisor, Private School Coordinator, to confirm their eligibility for graduation. Thank you. By the authority vested in me as the private school's focal person, 
through the school's division superintendent, Dr. Talma Kabadsan Kitalig, CESO 5, school's division of Kaobayog City, and having been informed by your school principal, Sister Maria Adela M. Pabon, Franciscan Apostolic Sister, and duly certified by your district supervisor, Annabel O. Yangzon of Kalbayog 2 District, that you have satisfactorily completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum with 59 female and 66 male, a total of 125 senior high school. I now confirm you graduates of La Milagrosa Academy for school year 2020-2021. You can now enroll in any tertiary schools, colleges, universities, or anywhere in the Philippines, even abroad, as long as the medium of instruction is English. Congratulations, graduates. Let us welcome the graduates of school year 2020 and 2021 for STEM strength Balgoa Kenneth Edward D Calderon Hans Riley I Kapales Joshua A Dialogdon Carlo Yu Continuous Ruben the Third P Lavendia Alvin C Rodrin James Edward E Yaudel John Kerr L Aniban Christian Joy S. Bangkali Dami J. Barnizo Kathleen B. Litong Kisha C. Kaber Marianika C. Kasurao Angela T. Poison G F. F. Galiosa Kony A. Enriquez Renee G. Lipata Laina M. Miliares Catrina Paula A. Umbro Jaren May A. Oriendo Dayan B. Or King Princess Dayan C. Padua Princess Ella R. Romano Rosalie S. Scenario Mary Angeli T. Wahimon Chris G. For ABM Strand, Ake Renzo S. Savas Jasper. Anyasco Sunshine May S. Antivo Danica May B. Banyasia Darling F. Kabel Lovely Faye M. Crespo Eunice K. E. 
Loneliness, Shaira A. Lentejas, Marianova B. Okendo, Princess Kyle R. Pinote, Rose D. For GA Span Asunto John Francis C. The Chan Harold S. Cabell Rani D. Abelia Rose and C. For you, strength. Ankao Jose Jr. P. Don't nothing. Okay, it's a C. Selo, Roy P. E. Dosado, Sadalo Jr. M. Emilieri Mark Daniel M. Flor Amiel Mark C. Gia Nico Lawrence B. How Reynaldo Jr. S. Guanerio Irvin E. Novo Felipe M. Lucinicio Kent Jaber B. Malobo Jordaniel L. Mangkol Jimon G. Manhangin Troy G. Maringal Jesli C. Moni Benjamin T. Ombrog Jorindel Ralph A. Original John Robert O. Pepito Jubel B. Pilapil Reynaldo S. Rosales Mel Vincent A. Taho Cliff Patrick S. Tukayon J. Anthony C. Alvarez Crystal S. Amasan Althea Caitlin R. Ando Eileen M. Baman Algean Kate D. Berasis Ophelia P. Borbe Bea P. Bukado Raylin S. Kaliste Nikki May N. Katalbas Jamey Kathleen B. Kowanko Angela C. Kokilia Mary Ann C. David Miash Richie A. Diaz Julian C. 
Doroha Micaela M. Jumala Lizzy Ann Ross L. Flor Bernadette R. Gonzalez K. B. Guades Josefa Y. Juanerio Mary Nicole P. Manlangit Annaline B. Marangas Mary Lourdes S. Nationales Althea May P. Ortega Maria Jolin S. Parales Milis Francis D. Hollis Antonet G. Ramada Fiel Gia S. Sabari Mercy F. Safrentes Jane Blair B. Soliva Maria Fier Jose S. Termo Maria Aizin L. For TVL CSS Channel. Alejo Jeremy A. Bakunando John Hunger M. Wago Jordan M. Kahusay Jansen C. Catalan Butch Joby C. Dario Lito Jeff G. Espanol Joshua G. Gaspan Tyron Joseph G. Ihara Daisuki U. Sanan Marlo S. Jordan Dominic Ivan R. Lumoxo Jetrus Bra C. Lucis Jeremy Briggs A. Mahinai Jonah Christian S. Manaog Charles Kent I. National Dijap Wilfred L. Onkal Alriz. Pacoma Raymart A. Padilios Janinu S. Paris Jake P. Rojero Jan Roland M. Talon Julius Robert C. Ayong Jerica May A. Bongit Maybelline M. Caber Marinella C. Concon Laika May S. Coral Reme O. Imperial LG Jamaica S. Petus Mary Peace M. Let us welcome Attorney Anthony Yu Singzon.
to the directress of La Milagrosa Academy, Sister Maria Adela N. Pabon, FAS, LMA personnel and staff, graduates, family members, guests, and all viewers, good day. It is my honor and privilege to deliver the commencement address to the graduates of 2021 of La Milagros Academy with the theme, United in Faith and Love with Mama Mary, a powerful tool to achieve our dreams amidst pandemic. With much enthusiasm and gladness, this representation would like to congratulate all of you for finally completing the requirements and passing the rigorous schedule of studies as senior high school students and yet fun and challenging means of studying in these trying times. Every end has a new beginning. Today might be your last day as senior high school students, but I believe that learning actually never ends. It is a continuous process that actually prepares you after school. You have come this far because of the people who had helped you in one way or another. These are our parents or families, friends, classmates, teachers, and our school who owned our knowledge and built our lives to bring us all here. Family is God's gift to each and every one of us. Mary, the mother of Jesus, gives us the clearest and most inspiring picture of what the ideal mother should look like, as she never abandoned her child even during things were at their worst. Mothers, like Mary, stand with their children throughout their life, especially when things go bad, even if they are unable to alter the course of tragic events, to offer love and support in whatever way they can to their children. Till birth, women carry their young and continue their love and affection throughout their childhood and even into adulthood. No one can describe in words the feeling that a mother has towards her children. Most people do not understand unless they become a mother themselves. Love always encourages us in any faults which come in life. She is the only person who has no demands except our best future. A mother always wants the best for her child and never compromises on anything related to her child. Parents protect their child from any difficult situation and provide him all comfort that they can afford. Mother's love is not only about pampering her child, but also about letting her child know the moral and cultural values. A good upbringing makes the better future of a person, and the mother does an excellent job to give the best future for her child. She converts a house into a home. She works as a superwoman because to keep managing household works and to fulfill all family members' requirements on time is no easy task at all. If we talk about working ladies, then we can't even imagine how she would manage all things together. Like all of you, I am proud of my mother who has nurtured me along with doing a job and also managing the home properly. Much as the school wanted to hold tight the rope that connects to you, she will set you free for you to soar high and achieve the zenith of your success. I am hopeful that this simple, short, and humble speech is to send a message of love that overcomes obstacles along with the journey of reaching the dreams or goals that you have. And may your faith strive to achieve the heights of success and to face the new chapter of your life with a grateful heart to all the people behind your triumph. To all the graduates who had successfully conquered all of the hardships brought by this pandemic, just continue to have that drive and determination blazing to achieve your goals and dreams in life. Always remember that you can be whoever you want to be. Success is not measured by the money you have in your pocket, 
diplomas and grades you acquired, professions or business you achieve, but how grateful and happy you become in life. Again, congratulations and to the proud parents and guardians, thank you so much for being the guiding light to the graduates. Congratulations. We, the member of graduating class, do solemnly pledge to keep ourselves mindful of the teachings of Christ, which have been imparted to us by our beloved alma mater, the La Milagros Academy. As Christians, we will do our best to work sublime truth of life by living not only for this world, but for the world to come. We pledge our loyalty and fidelity to our beloved alma mater to do whatever we can, God willing, to maintain dignity of her name wherever we are, whatever we do, and whenever it may be.
Sometimes the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. 'Cause the dreams bring back all the memories, and the memories bring back memories. Bring so back we you. We talked all night about the rest of our lives, where we're gonna be when we turn 25, and I keep thinking times never change. Keep on thinking things will always be the same. So when we leave this year, we won't be coming back. No, I'm hanging out 'cause we're on a different track. And if you got something that you need to say, you better say it right now 'cause you don't have another day. 'Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down. These memories are playing like a film without sound. I keep thinking of the night in June. Didn't know much love, but it came too soon. And this is how it goes. Thing we learned in school, still be trying to break every single rule. Will little Benny Bobby be a stockbroker man? Will I find a job on interview with my tan? I keep, I keep thinking that it's not goodbye. Keep on thinking that it's time to fly. Thank you for watching.